Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming. In this video, we're going to go over some consignments I, got, I have gotten in. A lot of new product as usual, and it's always cool to see the stuff that comes in. At the very end, we'll open up some newer products. Got a decent response for the live opening booster pack, so we're gonna add another booster pack today. We have here, this is the Sabrina's Gengar. We're gonna look at it a little bit more closely. Um, it does have the band artwork with the graveyards there. You guys can probably see the crosses in the background. But if you look right here, uh, the reason I'm highlighting it a little bit extra is because of this chip in the corner. I've got it labeled as cracked in the title, but it does not go over any part of the card. It's just this corner here. Probably was dropped a little hard or, you know, I'm not really sure what happened there, but that's the way it showed up. And I want to make sure that it was noted uh, for you guys and for the consignee. He didn't know that it was there either. We've got the Typhlosion EX from EX Series Miracle, De Miracle Desert. Uh, these are all CS11 if you're looking to sort by the title to find those. We also have quite a few first edition base set 10 non-holographic cards. Now, some of these are kind of tough to get. Like Caterpie was always a tougher common for whatever reason to grade in a 10, or at least I found it that way. Um, War Turtle was always tough. Last was always tough. There's Electro Dragonair. Maybe Dragonair was just more tough because so many people wanted that card. But my last two non-hollows, which made up two of the last three cards that I needed for the set, was actually the uh, the War Turtle in the last. The, the the last card that I needed was the Chansey. But before the Chansey, last, and then before last, it was War Turtle. This Lightning Energy does have a crack over the top left of that corner. Got a variety of label types here from the two millions to the four millions. Got a Metapod, Pidgey, Pokédex, Pokey Flute, Professor Oak, the original discard your hand then draw seven cards. Got Psychic Energy, Scoop Up, one of the rare trainers, Super Potion. Last was a rare trainer. War Turtle was just the uncommon. It was the last one of the uncommons. Weedle was enough tough one. Weedle was the last common. After 69, you went on to number 70, which was the Clefairy Doll. Maybe one day I'll try to see if I can go through the entire base set, 1 through 102, and just remember all the cards. My set number. All right, next up we have the Charizard VMAX. And this one is, it looks like it's English on the backside, but it's actually Indonesian. You can tell a little bit once you start looking at the text a little bit closer. But you could be fooled, you know, looking at the title, looking at the card, or not looking at the title, looking at the card name and then looking at, you know, the backside. But it is in indeed in Indonesian. And I bought this one off of Probstein for, it was around $240 or so. I thought that was a decent deal. I got it in auction. Next up, these are under CS8. We've got a, a pair of Sky Ridge Reverse Hollows. Both really popular artworks. You got the Starmie and then the Big Moon Umbreon. So you got the Neo Discovery Moon Umbreon. You got the Aquapolis Moon Umbreon. Or this is the Sky Ridge. I can't remember if the Aquapolis set had a moon in there or not. Of course, the uh, the Moon Umbreon, the one that coined that name or, or got that name from uh, Evolving Skies. That was still really hot right now. Next up, these are all CS8 as well. I believe they are. Actually... Uh, this one it should be CSA. It's going to be under a, a different title number because it's with these booster packs. We've got a Neo Genesis first edition booster pack. This is the old style pack. You can see how they got the folded back sides. They have updated it now to where they've got you know the long, like it's the whole pack kind of out flat. Uh, I'm having a couple of mine recased myself, and um, so far I haven't had any issues with them recasing them into the same grade. But this has the Typhlosion artwork, and then we also have. The Lugia. Of course, these are the two chase cards from the Neo Genesis set. I wish I had bought these when they were $2,000 a piece. Now I'm losing with a bid of over $20,000 on uh, PWCC. Also, we have some jungle booster packs. We have first edition uh, with the Wigglytuff artwork, the Flareon artwork, and we also have it with the Scyther artwork, so you can get all three, and they're sequential. I don't know if you saw that, but it's 612, 613, and then 614. You should just be able to search these. PSA 10 gym pack. I don't have too many packs up. 
So he actually sent these codes to give away to you guys for free. Let's read his note and then I'll give away the codes. It says, hey Rusty, hope you're doing well. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you for all of the insight and valuable information you provide through your channel. I don't have as much time lately to keep up with some of the latest happenings, but you're always my go-to when I need my Pokemon fix. I've been wanting to do a consignment for a while now, so I'm glad I was finally able to send these over. You can post them whenever you get a chance. My only request is that you keep the three first edition PSC 10 jungle packs as a set. Uh -oh. I'll go back and I'll make sure that I'll put those in as a set because I didn't actually put those in a set. I've got them listed now individually. Uh, I got those graded myself a few years back. Hence the consecutive numbers. Yeah, I did notice that though. Along with the fossil pack, keep up the amazing work and thank you again for all you do for this community. Parnion? Parnion? Parnion A? Yeah, I tried to read these for the first time um, when I showed them to you guys here in the video. I've never had anybody send in something vulgar, but if that did happen, then I just edited it out. Well, now I would have Pokemon DNA. Before, it was just me cutting out entire pieces. But here, ooh, these are Phantom Forces. Got Shining Fates. Nice code cards. Evolutions. Thank you for giving us those, and I'll make sure to fix your listings. So if you're watching this post after I've emailed you, you probably already sent me an email saying that you, you need me to correct that. I'll get it taken care of. All right, we have Charizard base set two. These all, yeah, these have CS12 in the title. So you've got that one. You've got the Misty's Gyarados. This is a Gem Mint 9.5. Got a pristine Kanazawa's, Kanazawa's Pikachu. We have a nine on the base Venusaur. Got a Dark Blastoise and a nine. Dark Charizard and an eight. So we've already been through on this one consignment, CGC, PSA, we've got a BGS 9.5 Alakazam from base set. Now we're getting into C, we're, yeah, we're getting into CGC. So I had four different grading companies on this one submission. We had the Blaine's Arcanine, Blaine's Charizard, you got the Blastoise from base set, Charizard from base set, we've got the 10 on the Celebrations Charizard. Also have the Erica's Venusaur, the Galarian Moltres V, the Lugia from Neo Genesis, Uyama's Pikachu, always like that card, Sleeping Tyranitar. You have the other Umbreon, you know, the original Umbreon with the moon in the background. Wide variety on this on this uh, consignment. Then we've got some booster packs, and these are sold in a lot. We've got Merging Powers, 19.8. I don't know if that's heavy or not. I just know that it is heavier than the other two because there's three Emerging Powers packs. 19.58, 19.68, 19.8. And then we also have an Ancient Origins booster pack that weighs 19.96. And then also he has a base set unlimited booster pack with the Charizard artwork. And it's graded at 10. What a submission. Or what a consignment submission, I should say. Last on consignment. This all this stuff was listed today too, pretty much. Well, I think there was one of these submissions that was not. Might have been this one, or might have been, maybe it was two of them. But most of the stuff I just got in today, and we just I went ahead and got all the scans in. But we have a pristine Giovanni's Persian. So if you guys don't know, the PSA 10 on this brings a it brings a big premium. The pop is so low, so people need it for their sets. I'm curious to see what's going to happen with the uh, the CGC side of it. I haven't seen one of those go yet. And then we also have two pristine first edition hollows, but these are in German. So we've got the Mewtwo. See that one there? And then we also have the Quapo for Polyrath. So now we're going to open up six Brilliant Stars booster packs. I pulled that. I've had boxes just kind of of these loose packs that I get from different collection sets. Normally I just send them off to Troll and Toad and sell them there, but I think I'm gonna just start putting them up on the website as long as you guys have a demand for this stuff, you know, we'll sell these in 10 pack lots. I think I had a Fusion Strike, Pokemon Go, and Celebrations, and we had, you know, at least five or six people come through and, and buy some packs. So, um, and that's for the live opening, so we'll, I'll probably do that on Tuesday. I think this video should come out you know, on Wednesday, so it should be yesterday's live. Sorry we didn't get to do it last night. Just had to kind of do one during the day, but it was for a basketball game. But now we'll open up some brilliant stars. This will be the next set that we add to the website. I still haven't pulled a Charizard V star. I guess I got to get used to uh, not showing the codes for uh, for the customers that are buying buying cards. Did a little pack trick. Maybe we won't do the pack trick. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Purloin. Oh, we did get a hollow. So there's bosses orders. Maybe I don't know uh, much about these these code cards. I thought you had to have the, the white code card. 
Like, I thought you had to get this kind to get a hollow. Maybe I have it backwards. Hopefully, I don't give away <laughs> my customers' code cards. That would be bad. I know one of them specifically asked for them. Star Raptor. Well, that's a hollow right there. That's one. So maybe you can just get it in either one. Oh, so we get, there's all kinds of code cards in it. So it was a white, so this is just a white border. So maybe the white border ones, you don't get anything. Or maybe we'll get an ultra rare. What do you guys think? Cynthia's ambition, there's a heat train. Isn't Gloria pretty good for, uh, for decks? All right, black, black border. That's what we want, right? Of course, I've seen that reverse too. Ooh, got a Zekrom. Pulled several of those in Japanese, and we got a Flygon V. We got a couple pulls. Two packs to go. That was a weird was a pack to rip. Man, we're doing pretty good with these. Got one of those V Star energies, or whatever you want to call them. Shroomish and a Shaman V. Always nice to pull a little hit. Not the one I'm looking for. Man, so we only had one white bordered pack at all those. Let's see what we finished up with. And we finished up with a Lucario. Alright, so we didn't get the Charizard V Star that we wanted to get, but Brilliant Stars packs, they should be available and up in the site now. If they're not, then they've sold out prematurely before uh, the video even come out. But guys, thanks for watching and we'll have another video soon.